What's up, people? It's your hero, Seth, again. <laughs> ah, just discussing my plans for my uh, my AK Draco pistol here. The American-made Draco, whatever you want to call it. The, uh, just some plans, what I'm going to be doing to it. Uh, as you see, I got a um, tactical brace on here. I'm going to be changing out the pistol grip with the mag pull. And changing out the handguard with the mag pull. Um, hand guard. I have a replacement for the rear sight arriving. Uh, it's going to be a rail system to load like a um, probably a red dot. You know, just a plain red dot. Nothing too crazy. So this is going to be changed out. You know, total black. And I tell you, um, I've ran. Um, God, close to a thousand rounds to it uh, by now. I've only like, I haven't even cleaned it really, not properly. I wiped it down. <laughs> That's about it. I got, I mean, I got to field strip it and uh, actually clean it before I go shooting next time, which is going to probably be oh about a month or so because I want to restock on ammo and not be completely out when I get home. I'm not out now, but. The, uh, the supply is getting slim. I don't like being that low on ammunition, but it was fun. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I also have a muzzle brake coming in. These are threaded. Um, so this just comes off and I'll have a muzzle brake come, on, come in. Just a little bit, you know, less recoil, less flash, all that good stuff. But uh, I kind of want to just touch on a couple of things. You know, for the people that are bitching about the the, the Sentry Arms, I tell you, this gun has done great. I've had no issues with it other than some steel ammo causing it to jam. And it's probably because I haven't cleaned it, to be honest. I mean, that's probably the reason why. You throw in steel ammo and a dirty gun, it's going to jam, probably. So when I ran brass uh, through it, which is what I got in there now, I don't have one chambered, so nobody have a hissy fit. But when I run these, I, I have no issues. No issues whatsoever. It's the same thing with my AR. Uh, if, if I run steel, I may get a couple of mags through and then it jams, especially if I'm rapid firing. And, and it jammed during the rapid fire the other day. You know, and I was just, I was really just aiming in the general direction, um, just letting it rip. I was just trying to have some fun. You know, I kind of redeemed myself from the, uh, the first time I'd gone shooting with this and I just, you know, I'd hit the gong enough times that I was happy. And I just want to play around with it. Just have some fun. I also have a tool coming in to uh, adjust the front sight. But anyway, back to uh, everyone complaining about Century Arms uses cast parts, cast trunnions. And they always reference the guy. I can't think of the guy's name, but he's a Russian guy. He did a, um, he did a destruction test, uh, torture test, whatever. To where he took the big brother of this, which is just the standard uh, RAS 47, it just means Red Army Standard, and he ran 5,000 rounds through it in the course of a couple of videos, you know, series or whatever. Now, the thing about that video is that, that nobody seems to want to talk about the parts that failed on it, from what I remember seeing it, were just the sights. Uh, I don't know why. And I'm guessing that, because I, I want to say he threw the gun down in a couple of um, mud puddles and stuff. And, and obviously, if you throw this down and it hits the right way, of course it's going to break. I, mean, I don't see these breaking from just firing. I don't, I don't see that. I don't see how that could happen. I mean, they look really, really sturdy to me. And I mean, 500 rounds, 5,000 rounds. Why would that... You know, why would the sights be so affected to where they were like breaking off and shattering and whatever he had going on? I just, I don't see that coming from just normal use. So the parts that he said were failing, I already had plans to replace anyway. It was the wood coming away. Um, his was the full version, so he had an actual stock on his to where I have, I've already got a, you know, a brace on there. This isn't wood, this is plastic, so this isn't going to be, you know, cracking or breaking or anything like that. 
But like I said, the part of the video that all these haters don't want to talk about is the internal of the gun, the guts are fine. The gun was still performing even after 5,000 rounds, even after throwing it in the dirt. Uh, whatever he did to it, you know, I didn't watch the whole series. Frankly, it, it kind of got on my nerves that the the comments and everything I was seeing, it just it, it just really irritated me. Um, I'm not a fanboy. I mean, I, I'm, this is the first Century Arms weapon I've ever bought, but I mean, I bought it. It works fine. It, you know, it does what I want it to do. The only issue is, you know, I, I have to get a tool to adjust the sights and probably I will adjust the sights, get them zeroed in, and then later on I'll get a red dot once I get some money saved up again and I'll already have that piece to convert this to a rail. So, I mean, I'm good to go. So, I mean, and there's been other videos and people like me, they get on there, they're, they're realistic, they've ran a couple of thousand rounds through it, they've maybe changed out, a, changed out the grip or added this or done that. But the gun still works fine, and they get constant negativity. Like you, you shouldn't uh, spread this. You shouldn't talk about this. I mean, if it's working, why? Why wouldn't you just be honest? Okay, the gun is a budget gun. Okay, it's this is like six hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars. Throw in a, um, a brace. You add one hundred fifty dollars to it. You throw in some mag pull parts. Uh, I ordered mine. Mine are on the way from Palmetto State Armory. Like. After taxes and coupon codes and shipping, I'm paying 60 bucks to get a new grip, which I really don't even need. This one is, does fine. I just wanted to just change it out. And this piece right here, these two, these the, the wood here, I don't like that. I never did like that part. Now that part does feel really cheap. So, but any AK, you can change this stuff out. You, it's just like an AR. You can pimp it out how you want to. But as long as the guts, as long as inside here is fine, I'm good. And that's all I wanted to say. Hope you guys are having a great day, having some fun, doing whatever you're doing. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much back making videos. So I hope you guys liking what you're seeing, liking the shooting, liking the gun topic. Um, I'm gonna try to do some sword stuff soon. Um, I do have a review of a sword that, I, you know, I thought I did it, but I guess I didn't. <laughs> And it's going to be um, kind of directed at Bathro Batasa, if he's watching. Uh, he probably knows the sword I'm talking about. He messaged me about um, one he saw on eBay the other day, and I'm like, yeah, I've already got it. And he's like, he didn't know. So I'm going to go ahead and do a, a, re a review on that probably, just so you guys can see it. I do. I have shown it in a few videos in my uh, Shokasuji uh, video, the Revenge of the Ninja video I did with the shirt tail thing going, uh, and with the t-shirt or whatever. So I have shown it before. I guess I haven't really done a good review on it. But anyway, I just wanted to touch base again, let you guys know what I have planned for this, how it's working out for me. If you're thinking about grabbing one, um, go ahead and get one while you still can, while you can find them. Go ahead and grab a brace. Um, Palmetto State Armory has the best price. They're they're fast shipping. They ship uh, UPS. So, and uh, I'll let you guys know how it goes when I get the Magpul furniture. Um, I think I'm gonna probably have to get a mallet or maybe a um, a Dremel to adjust. You know, kind of get it to, to where it locks in because I don't think they're actually, you know, it's gonna fit perfectly. But you know, I'll do what I can. I'll get it on there one way or the other. But that's all I got, guys. You guys have a great one. Peace and say my name.